Y'all remember a few years ago when Kendrick dropped the whole verse on control, dissing like the whole new generation of rappers, and everybody had a response. Well, everybody that wasn't mentioned, Papoose, I mean Jada Kiss, and also Lupe Fiasco, who wasn't even mentioned with the crowd of people that he actually name dropped. But for some reason, Lupe Fiasco, he had to put his name in and put his name in the game and actually mention Kendrick. Oh, yeah, and there was Meek Mills, but I think he was mentioned. I think so. But Lupe is at it again. So let's go to um, our recent news about this. Lupe says that Kendrick is not a top tier rapper when it comes to the lyrics compared to Lupe Fiasco. That what he says, you know. Do, 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 do. Okay, so here's the little thing. And he still has that Domus Lights. And I just like to say lights come from lasers, by the way. You know, his trash album, Lasers. Yeah, that's it. But you know what? I think there's a lot of parallels between Lasers and um, a album like Damn. Because Damn also went heavily mainstream just like Lasers. Except Lasers was more candy sweet. Damn was more organic and rough. Rough on the edges. But yeah. He of course says that Kendrick is not a top tier rapper compared to him. Which is a little strange because just a few years ago. Lupe admitted that Kendrick makes better music than him. So maybe he was talking about the music not the lyrics. But he admitted this. I mean. He admitted that. Kendrick Lamar makes better music than him. Now, some people might say that Kendrick Lamar makes better everything than him. He says, musically, no. Straight up rapping, though, we might have to go to the judge on that. Either way, he's in, I'm out. Okay, so he's admitting that straight up on a pure Music level, Kendrick is better than him. But I don't think, I don't think, I purely think on a whole Kendrick rapping level that he can be better than him. Okay, in 06, I believe you were supposed to be what Kendrick now is for the culture. You was supposed to be the voice of what happened. But yeah. I do think Lupe feels a little bit of envy for Kendrick on how he's getting all this acclaim. And, you know, Lupe, he pretty much was the precursor of Kendrick going out. I mean, I listened to his album, Dumbest, Dumbest Lights, and that kind of was the precursor of Damn. Except Damn did it better and had catchier hooks and rhymes and stuff like that of course but another thing that Lupe was a precursor of is Vince Staples you know how Vince Staples does that electro music stuff Lupe didn't Ben did that so I just like to credit him with that like he should go after Vince Staples for freaking um Copying him when it comes to all those electric beats and shit like that. I kind of think so. But, you know. Another thing is Lupe called out Kendrick for stealing one of his covers. Let's see. Where the fuck is it? Where is it? Alright, there we go. So, immediately, here's the new cover for... um. Kendrick Lamar's newest song for Black Panther. The cover is on the right. Here's Lupe's uh, cover for one of his albums. I don't know what the fuck it was. Hold on. All right. Now that I read more into it, he's saying that all the stars 
is similar to the Domus Wave. So now he has Domus Lights. Now he has Domus Wave. Is he copying Kanye West because he, of course, had the song Wave? Or better yet, is he copying um, B? I forgot what his name. Max B because he had the whole Wave movement. Now, looking further into the picture, I don't really see it that much. I mean, Lupe's picture on the left is more darker with more brighter coloring when it comes to light. And Kendrick's picture on the right is a bit more faded and has less of a have more of a white coloring than a yellow coloring compared to Lupe Fiasco's picture. Plus, up type, he has kind of like that horseshoe thing. So it's kind of a little weird. But overall, I don't think Kendrick is sweating Lupe like that. I mean, he didn't even respond to Lupe's eight-minute epic, uh, like, sneak dissing Kendrick which was like S L R S L R yeah S L R freestyle and stuff like that he didn't even respond to that he just was chill with it whatever he didn't even care that much so y'all remember well probably none of you remember this but there was a S L R 2 freestyle that was like dedicated to Kendrick Lamar he was just begging Kendrick to respond to him and whatever you know of course Kendrick didn't I guess he had bigger fish to fry like Big Sean or whatever you know Big Sean's a huge star but he just decided to do like a whole damn track do 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 it's hard being a Lupe fan Go to Harvard to be a Lupe Stan. Wow. Okay. There was even a point where Lupe Fiasco tried to start something between Logic and Kendrick Lamar. He said that Logic was totally like better than Kendrick, even though Logic steals a lot of ideas from Kendrick Lamar. And Loop and also Logic kinda had like a bigger buzzed in Lupe Fiasco and at some points Kendrick Lamar even though you know he steals ideas from him but hey how do you all feel are any of you all Lupe Fiasco fans do anybody really care about him anymore you know uh, have you heard any new Lupe Fiasco songs or whatever put it in the description leave a like for this channel and guys, I'm out. Do, 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 do. And oh yeah, I got some new braids. Got some new braids, guys. But yeah, that's another story and you know, stuff like that.